This is a tutorial of Airbox Runway HD using an iPad 2 Wi-Fi only model. So with the Wi-Fi only model you don't get a built-in GPS so if you were going to use that particular one for navigation while flying you will need a Bluetooth or some kind of external GPS receiver. So we fired up the app and then we've got a disclaimer screen here giving us our, our last airspace update date uh, NOTAM date and software version number. So, now, as I said, because we don't have GPS on this particular one, we have a red, a red aircraft, and the accuracy figure there is in red. So, at any time where where there is poor GPS accuracy, you will get a red aircraft. It goes green when you have a GPS lock. So, going around the screen, uh, you've got buttons for centering on the aircraft and that then highlights and we're now in tracking the aircraft mode. Got the route menu so we can open a previously saved route, we can build a route or we can view a logged flight. So if we build a route using the menu we can type in airfield name or an ICAO code or navaid name and we can start to build a route by selecting those points. So from Abingdon if I press on the plus and then choose another waypoint. Once I've got a route in, the route menu expands and I can save the current route, I can clear it, I can reverse it, or I can make a route briefing, like a, a plug card, I can look at route NOTAMs, or I can e email the route to a friend who's using Runway HD. If you put a route in, if you press and hold somewhere on the line, you can make a new waypoint. You can also delete a waypoint by pressing on it and then tapping on the grey cross. Go around the settings menu, here you can view the charts you've downloaded, manage charts, download charts that are on your subscription, uh, various settings for Nova, NOTAMs and NAVAIDs. Unit setup, uh, display setup, you can choose track up and various other options for the home screen. Aircraft setup allows you to change the aircraft icon, you can set your cruise speed and your hourly fuel and the default waypoint altitude. On Runway HD you can have uh, 500k, uh, 250k and 50k uh, charts uh, for, for the UK certainly and uh, if you've got those installed uh, then as you as you zoom through um, the app will will change the map type for you and uh, that uh, that does only apply if you have those those charts installed uh, down here you can you can manually choose which chart series you look at and you can also lock a certain chart series so that you can zoom into it without any changing to a different scale there's also a, a scale bar here to give you a sense of uh, sense of scale. Uh, you've got the, the data bar at the bottom for speed, altitude and route information and distance. Uh, if you tap the distance you get a time to your destination, if you tap it again you get an ETA, if you tap it again you go back to the uh, total distance uh, remain. So if I put in a, if I can press yeah, and hold yeah, the on now. the map and then I, I can you, uh, I you add a waypoint. I can then press and hold again and add another waypoint. So if I'm route planning for, um, for for the next day and I'm sat at home, say, it's adding a waypoint is how you want to, to place those points at your airfield. If you were already there, you could use the navigate to, because that would always use your current position as the starting point. So if I have a route in, I can then press on the uh, the terrain profile and that will give give an idea of uh, cross section of airspace and a, uh, a depiction of likely terrain. If I create any waypoints in the terrain bar, they will also be created in the plan view of the map as well. You can also get the geo-referenced uh, Pooley's plates. So I've pressed and held over Fairford, so I can my options are to look at. Fairford's airfield information to browse the approach plates. I also get a decode of the of the weather at Fairford. So if I browse approach plates, I can look at the uh, the, the local area plate there, 
for uh, Fairford and Bryce, and you can show that on the map. The system can also overlay and highlight airspace, uh, and that's with the, the button up here. Any airspace that goes down to surface will be uh, shaded in, and this can be particularly useful uh, if you're using the vector charting for, uh, say, a, a one-off trip uh, to the continent and you can then use the, the airspace overlay to uh, get your aeronautical If you press the weather button, you then get the weather options come up in the bottom left and you can choose to turn on and off the airfield weather, uh, winds aloft at, at a height that you choose to see and rain radar overlay. So here you can see the, the wind arrows and also uh, pictorial uh, weather digest for airfields which to have METAR and TAF data. If you then want to see the details of that you can press and hold and then get the weather decode and you can, you can press that and get the, the raw and the decoded plain text. Having set the weather preferences in here, I can then toggle the weather on and off using the NOTAM on the system. Top. Using the NOTAM button. When you first started up, uh, and if you're connected to the internet, a NOTAM updates bar will come across the top of the screen. Um, you can also check the NOTAM date when you start up Romeo HD on the disclaimer page. So this gives a shows you shows you where the NOTAMs are on the map, so you can then check whether or not the route that you've planned will be affected by any NOTAMs. To get details on the NOTAMs, you can press and hold on the screen, then the NOTAM option, giving you information on the NOTAM that you've selected. Airspace warnings uh, come up in orange, airspace infringements come up in red, and these can be uh, expanded and minimised. At the bottom of the screen you've got a scratch pad which can be used for notes and you can switch between the map and the scratch pad. There's also a documents area. If you have uh, any checklists or PDF documents you can open those from the iPad into Runway HD and then have them to have those documents, documents uh, at a point on the map um, by pressing and holding, scrolling down to place document and that then allows you to place, uh, if you have arrival information for an airfield or a fly-in, you could load that information into the documents area, place it near the airfield that you're flying to, and then that allows you to press and hold on the icon and quickly bring up the relevant document and page for quick reference between the document. At the top map. of the screen, you've also got a search bar. Um, stored on the iPad are the uh, airfield database, so you can you can search by ICAO code and then the three options are navigate to it, place it as a waypoint or use the binoculars just to see where it is. If you are connected to the internet the search will also go go off and look for key words. So if I start to type in Stonehenge There, you can then see that that'll. So in the in settings, if you set up your aircraft setup correctly, you can then, if you take two fingers and place them on the map, you can then use the ruler to measure distances. Also, give you uh, time to cover that distance and fuel used. You just tap the screen to get rid of the ruler. So you can also buy charts in the app, you can also buy them from our website, so you can go on to buy charts and then load up the, the charts that we've got by country and you can then browse those and purchase. In also the in the documents area you have Roma HD Help which contains uh, some additional tutorials on things such as route planning and using demo mode and there's also some video tutorials. You also have in the documents area an installed charts and data digest which shows you exactly which charts and uh, data feeds that you have installed on the iPad. Thanks for watching the Runway HD tutorial. If you have any more questions then please give us a call or drop us an email.